Three years ago, Hickam Air Force Base became home to a hydrogen fuel plant. Until now, HECO electricity had to be used to create that hydrogen. But that's all changing. Kirk Matthews has more in tonight's Be Green 2. This photovoltaic solar panel array was created by Sunetric. It is powerful. It's 146 kilowatts. It's made up of about 810 to uh, 180 watt panels. Uh, it's enough to power about 30, 35 homes. And there may be a time when the solar energy does just that. However, the primary use for the electricity created by the solar panels is here at this hydrogen producing plant, using renewable energy to create alternative energy. It's all about uh, renewable energy and alternative fuel. So we put in a hydrogen production fueling station out there uh, three years ago, and now we're powering it with renewable energy sources. The hydrogen that is created in this plant has a practical application. The hydrogen is used to power electric drive vehicles, whether they be fuel cell vehicles or internal combustion engine vehicles uh, burning hydrogen. The hydrogen plant was developed through a cooperative agreement between the state's Center for Advanced Transportation Technologies, a division of the High Technology Development Corporation, and the Air Force. The vehicles Quinn mentioned include this SUV. Filling it up is as easy as pulling into your corner gas station. When the solar panels aren't producing energy for the hydrogen plant, the energy doesn't go to waste. The beauty of it is also when the station, the hydrogen station, is not operating, that uh, renewable energy from the solar array actually feeds the base grid, so they benefit from that. To the tune of about $43,000 savings a year. Civilians can see the operation during the Hickam Open House this Saturday. Well, lots of aircraft and the hydrogen-powered vehicles that I mentioned, some of them will be on display. F-22s will be there, and the Thunderbirds actually be putting on a show. Kirk Matthews, KHON2 News. The U.S. Navy and Marine Corps are looking to expand its workforce, and they're hoping a job fair will help them find the right people. Tomorrow's job fair will be held at Pearl Harbor from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon.